Good morning, everyone. A couple of news updates for you. As I mentioned on Wednesday, there was a pretty much paralyzing cyber attack carried out against South Korea. And the investigation has, I guess, concluded at this point that the initiating IP address has come from China. Now, this is very significant because in 2010, 2012, there were additional cyber attacks against South Korea, and both times the IP address that initiated those attacks came from China, and it was later determined that it was North Korea. Now, at this point, people indicate that North Korea may be behind it, but one of the interesting facets about this cyber attack is at least one screen capture has taken has been posted that a hacker group not affiliated with North Korea may have completed at least one of the hacks against one of the financial institutions. So we don't know at this point if it's a North Korean incursion in the digital space or if it's a North Korean incursion and a hacker group or if it's just the hacker group. Some analysts think it may take months to finally get around to seeing what really happened, but that's the latest update. Now, the other thing came... Uh, was revealed that now that the military tests have military tests now that the military drills have concluded here on the peninsula now we're in a waiting phase to see what north korea will do during the south korean exercises north korea also had their own military exercises and they had air raid drills and they moved some weapons around and they flew their own jets but now it's going to be the key moment what will north korea do do. Now, they have issued additional propaganda. They have released a new video showing the White House in ruins. They have come out and said they're going to attack Guam and Japan. And a lot of us just see this as more saber rattling. The true test will come to see if they actually follow through on some threats and fire on South Korean targets. So that's the news. Links to the articles down below. Have a good Friday. I'll talk to you soon.